Welcome to Fundamental Super Size Business Strategy number 30. Sharon Hornell from here. And today we're talking about our 30th strategy that I personally consider based on lots and lots of years of experience, decades actually, working with thousands of different businesses and organizations and individuals as well. The ability to measure our progress, the ability to measure something. P in the SOAP framework is the last letter, of course, of the word SOAP, but also the last, the fourth step in our SOAP process, which is a process or a framework for continuous improvement and growth, uh, solving problems, dealing with challenges, setbacks, yada, yada, yada. I talk about sometimes ad nauseum. But today, we want to think about that. What key performance indicators, and I guess that I could have called this the key KPI process, but I think that progress applies to everything and everybody, no matter what industry you're in. Some industries, some businesses measure and call them KPIs. A lot of them don't, right? But it's a pretty well-known term. So what handful, and I always find the key one or two, depending on the business that I'm working with or the business that I'm in and growing, what are, the, what are the things that I absolutely have got to pay attention to in order to grow and build, reach my goals, and supersize my business? And those vary based on what you want to look at, who you're serving, uh, what your industry is. And just because everybody else in the industry is tracking something doesn't mean that's the right thing for you to track in your business, right? All of our businesses are different and unique. So you have to really tap into and ask yourself and find the actual numbers, the actual measures that work for you. And sometimes they're not numbers and they're not measures at all. When I think about uh, things that I think are super important, for example, are employee satisfaction, customer experience, quality of our internal processes and systems that impact everything we do internally as well as externally. Uh, Employee satisfaction to me is huge. If we've got team members and employees that are unhappy, guess what? How well are they going to serve our customers? Which not only impacts them, but it also impacts our customer satisfaction and our customers' experiences. So my question for you today is, and I could list off, and you can do a Google search or whatever uh, type search you like to do and find hundreds, there's actually thousands and thousands of metrics or ways to measure something. And it's true of most of our industries. You can look for the top five, the top 20, the top 100, and you'll get all different things to choose from. And just read down that list and say, mm, that feels right to me, or this is what we're doing, but what if we were add, to add this or this component? Would that give us insights into how we're growing and building and supersizing our business that would be beneficial? Uh, sometimes the answer is yes, sometimes the answer is no. If the answer is yes, you can always test a different measure out for a little while and see if it's giving you the decision-making information that you need to move your business ahead. So I wrote down a few of them, you know, business efficiency is a big one for me, efficiency, effectiveness. Mine is also, have we perfect or have we created a process, documented it, tested it to the point where we can automate it and then just continually improve it. That's a huge one for me, especially when I'm working with a new company, because if we automate what can and should be automated, it frees us up to do the other things that we want to do to grow and build our business. All right, that's it for today. The process strategy, or progress process, progress strategy. Let me know if you're using this and how you're using it and what are what are a couple of the key performance indicators that you're using in your business and your industry. Three, share in the comments below so we can learn from one another. And if you want to say, this is what we measure and why we measure it. A lot of people, and guess what? Everybody in your organization should have key measures that they're using to identify and guarantee that they're making progress toward their goals. Hint, hint. All right. Have an awesome day. I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.